Hello everyone. So our capstone project is on artificial intelligence for quantitative trading. So our team members are myself, Kiran, Sai Charan, Mayuri, Nihal and Gautami. And our mentor is Dr. Ingzi. So to start off, the value of our research is mainly towards implementing a reliable AI model for stock market prediction. And our research is mainly focused towards the feature importance and explainability of the model that will help us to understand the impact of each feature on model prediction. So we will discuss on our data collection and enrichment methods, data leveling strategy, machine learning models that we have used on the challenges. And also our main point is on the feature importance and explainability of the model. And we'll discuss at the uh, results at the end. So initially we have conducted uh, some in literature review to understand the stock data, evolution of data analysis and machine learning in stock trading. So, and then we have used the Apple stock data and loaded it uh, for a period of five years from Yahoo Finance. So initially the input features, the available were open, high, low, closed volume and date, date values. So to improve the data quality, so we have derived various stock and market indicators, uh, which are mathematical uh, calculation based on the price and the volume uh, data. So namely the trend indicators like simple moving average and exponential moving average and others. So in order to train the machine learning models, we would need a output uh, parameter. So to do that, we have followed a labeling strategy, uh, which says that the if the stock uh, starting from the current day, if the stock prices reaches by 5% or more increases compared to the close of the current day, before it reaches 2% or more decrease, then we have labeled it as one, otherwise as zero, as indicated in the visualization. So we have used uh, the machine learning models for classification, namely random forest, decision tree, K neighbors, uh, gradient boosting and linear discriminant analysis and compare their performance uh, with the help of metrics, namely accuracy, precision and recall. So as we know that the stock data is highly volatile and we have considered all the 19 features after data enrichment. So the performance metrics are not so great uh, as you can see with the values. So to overcome this challenge, uh, we have focused mainly towards the feature importance and explainability of the model. So coming to feature importance, uh, which will help us to identify the most contributing features for the model prediction so that we can retrain the model again only with uh, those features. So to discuss few some of these techniques uh, that we have followed for model prediction uh, is that the feature importance based on feature permutation, mean decrease in impurity, recursive feature elimination, sequential feature selection and others. And later on, we have concentrated mainly on the explainability of the model. Uh, as we know that the machine learning models are kind of black boxes where it is very difficult for us to interpret and understand the, how they have predicted the output. So in order to uh, understand these, we have followed a technique called shape method, so which will help us to uh, understand and explain how each feature affects the model. So and also by aggregating these shape values, uh, we can also understand the trends across multiple predictions and also visualize their relationships. So we have used a plot called waterfall uh, plot uh, where we have plotted the shapely values for a single record. So as you can see in the graph, uh, the output value, uh, the model predicted output value is 0 0.97 and the, uh, we have plotted the shapely values of all the features uh, starting from the highly impact, high, higher impact features. So the close value had a uh, shapely value of 0 0.1 towards the model prediction followed by high open. And then we have uh, visualized the shapely values on overall on all the records with the help of bar plot. Uh, as you can see here, uh, OBB and then simple moving average 300 had the uh, higher shapely values of 0 0.04, uh, which we, I mean, we have considered the mean of the absolute values. So we have concentrated mainly on one of the visualization called B swarm plot, uh, which will uh, help us to understand the relation between the shapely values and also the feature values. So if you can see in the graph, for example, for simple moving average with a rolling window of 300, Notice how as the feature value increases, the shape value increase. So which will tell us that larger values for SMA 300 will lead to a higher predicted level. And similarly for OBV feature, uh, it has the opposite relationship. 
So uh, to discuss about the results after following these uh, feature selection strategies and explainability of the model. So we have retrained the random forest model uh, by selecting only the features that have an higher impact on the model prediction. So as you can see, the uh, we have um, the observations, the performances have increased, uh, namely for shapely values with an accuracy of 80, precision of 77 and recall of 75, uh, followed by others. So. Uh, so overall, so we have uh, made use of the feature selection and shapely values concept to explain the model performance, uh, which is the main focus of our research. So that is all. Thank you.